to AFC West, but I think it's pretty good division. So the Chargers, I like what the Chargers did. They brought in uh, tight end Jared Cook, offensive center Corey Lindsey, pro- the number one ranked center to pro football focus. Uh, offensive guard Matt Feller from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And cornerback Michael Davis, they've re-signed. So overall, I'm going to give them a great B. I like what they did. I think they're building around Herbert. I would not shock to see them go maybe wide out in the first round. I saw I saw a mock draft about that. Maybe get a guy like Watt on the inside with Mike Williams. And what's his name? Um, Keenan Allen would be fucking filthy. But I see them going 9-7. and seven. I mean, it's not that easy of a division to win, personally. And I do see the Broncos making a step in the right direction. So that's what I'm going to say about them. But offense and draft needs, I'll say offensive linemen. Go ahead. They're going to think they're playoff contenders. They expect to be a playoff contender with Herbert based on him and then Keenan Allen. Oh, I – eight wins, nine wins tops. I think Herbert might be a little bit gassed. 100%. I, I, I agree with that, 100%. Too. I think eight, nine wins. They're in a division with Mahomes. The Raiders and them will split. They should beat the Broncos twice, but I don't – think they're that i don't think he's anything special and i think they have a lot still some needs offensive line and when you're in the division with the best team in football you're not gonna be great go ahead max hey i got much to say about the chargers i mean justin herbert's first year broke the rookie touchdown record right yeah i'm not mistaken Hmm. i wasn't really paying attention to him well, whoever pays attention to the charges anyways. But, yeah, you never know with that because it could be, you know, long line might be one of the best quarterbacks ever, some grand prophecy yet to come, or it could be all just a fluke. 100%. I mean, or maybe that's – he'll just keep going down and down from there. You never know. But, yeah, I agree with Dan. Eight and eight to nine wins tops. Respect. Okay, so next we're going to go into the Chiefs. Well, I think I had a pretty good offseason, honestly, when I – when I saw they released Fisher and Schwartz, I was like, what the fuck are they doing? I was um, – Schwartz, Schwartz is the best right tackle in the game, whether you want to believe it or not, um, even though he's coming off an injury. But I think they filled it up nicely, man. They brought Tooney in. They're bringing offensive guard Kyle Long out of retirement in. Uh, Travis Kelsey restructured his deal to help a little bit with the cap. Uh, they tied it. Blake Bell signs back. Uh, defensive end Taco Charlton, former first-round pick for the uh, Cowboys, I believe, is yep. now there. Uh, running back Daryl Williams signs back, and then offensive tackle Mike Remmers, who a lot of people hated on, is now going to be playing that right tackle position for the Chiefs instead of left. God bless Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> uh, overall, though, I'm going to give it a nice B, man. Or B, uh, yeah, I'll give it a B. I see them going 14 and two in draft needs. I feel like it is definitely the O line. Uh, maybe a wide receiver help a little bit. Another guy besides Tyreek, but I think honestly, as a person, I think their group is a very good group. I think they. The chemistry-wise, I think it's very good. Um, I think it fits the system very well, so I don't think you really need anyone like that. And linebacker, I think their linebackers aren't really that known. It's Anthony Hitchens, and I forgot his other the other guy's name, but they're not really that good on linebacker position. So maybe just improving that defense a little bit or that old line like you saw get torn apart in the Super Bowl. But go ahead, guys. Oh, I think it's really old line help. You just said Mike Remmers at right tackle. I think me and Max remember when Mike Remmers was the Giants right tackle. Nightmares. 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 Like, it's just like a revolving door to the quarterback. We saw it in the Super Bowl. We will be able to scheme something up, but 17 weeks of Mike Remmers is bad news. I'll make it that simple. At the end of the day, though, Patrick Mahomes is one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Tyreek Hill is a top six, top seven receiver, if not top five. Hmm. Uh, Travis Kelsey is the best tight end in football, no question about it. Yeah, they need a little help with linebackers, but at the end of the day, they just know how to win. Andy Reid is a winning coach. 14-2, and 15-1, and one, any, anything around that. And then it, their season starts in the AFC championship game. That's when their season starts. Mm-hmm. 100%. Go ahead, Max. I don't know. Like I agree with Dan, offensive line is the most important thing, especially for Patrick Mahomes after the absolute shit show we saw in the Super Bowl for offensive line play. Um, if they don't fix the offensive line right now, they're definitely going to get some wins next season, hands down. Hands down, because Patrick Mahomes, you have Tyreek Hill still, 
the whole gang's still there for skill players. But offensive line wise, I feel like it's gonna it's gonna be a tougher season than it was this year. Okay. What are you saying, win wise? Win wise, I just I can't tell you. I, I honestly can't. They could it could be the same because they yeah. were damn good this year, but it could be worse because they did show the weakness and adding back Mike Remmers, you're literally opening up the door for Patrick Another Mahomes one, to huh? get slaughtered every <laughs> every night. I think their so, interior offensive alignment improved extremely, though. Yes. But, I mean, for pass rush. I agree with your point about Rammers, but Andy Reid is a very good football coach. He'll be able to scheme something up to get Rammers help. And then, are you in the Super Bowl, he had stuff going on with his son. Hmm. His p- mind probably wasn't all there. So, I think if he has a whole offseason and could scheme it up, he might be able I think he'll have Rammers getting help. 100%. I think what you said about the sun also put apart. I don't, Max, I saw your face. I don't know if you remember his son like hit someone. I know, I know what his son did. Yeah. I don't think his mind was right. And yeah. respectfully so, your son hit somebody. <laughs> Felt like facing jail time. But, okay, so after that, we're going to go into the Broncos. I mean, this is the last team in the AFC West. Um, overall, they brought back Von Miller back. Signed Ronald Darby. I don't know if that fits the scheme that well. But overall, I do like it. Bringing back defense and line, or defense and Shelby Harris, running back Mike Boone and Justin Simmons got tagged. Overall, I'm going to give it a B minus. I see them going. I honestly do like this team a lot. I'm not going to be honest. It's just going to be on Drew Locke. What can he do? And I see them either going seven and nine or nine and seven, depending on how he plays. I feel like they have to try to get Watson. Uh, LOA has not gotten the QB job right there since Peyton Manning. Let's be honest, Paxton Lynch, Brock Osweiler, he's never gotten it right. And now Drew Locke, Horse Cock, he hasn't gotten it right either. So I think <laughs> Great video. Uh, they definitely need to fix that up, and I honestly think they will. Either that's maybe going through the draft, drafting like someone, maybe a backup, I don't know, and then maybe I'll shine to Locke. But I do see him going 7-9. and nine. I do think Vic Fangio is a good coach, or 9-7. and seven. I think the draft teams are definitely quarterback, uh, cornerback, but I don't know how I feel now since I saw a thing about Kyle Fuller is a big need or a big want for the Broncos. So I think that secondary will be locked down if he goes there. But – or O-line probably just protecting uh, Drew Locke. So I'll see what you guys think. Their key to the season is Drew Locke. It's, yeah. I can make it that. They have a team to win games, in my opinion. I have a team to win games if Drew Locke can stay healthy. Hmm the first key and if he could perform when he is healthy he's shown i think him and daniel jones are very similar they've shown promise but they haven't really put it all together if that makes sense I can, yeah I can accept at that. the end of the day if the season's on drew lock like the giant season's gonna be on daniel jones's shoulders Go i ahead. think I? I don't think lock would deliver though i'm gonna go with five or six wins go ahead max yeah, it's 100% inconsistency with Drew, Drew Locke. If he pulls through this season, they're going to have a fine season. But if he plays like Drew Locke, it's it's hard to even say how good or bad they're going to do. Because hmm. we, it's week by week yeah. by week. You don't know what you're going to get. Yeah. So, I mean, I do like what they have, though. I think they're building it the right way. They're bringing the right veterans in, in my opinion. It's just all about Drew Law. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to think about Prashad Perryman. I just saw something about Allen Robinson. Fuck. What the fuck? 